With the country of Arnland in crisis and on the brink of becoming a failed state, NATO's North Atlantic Council voted to send a tailored force to the Skalkan region to resolve the situation. Arnland has shifted politically towards a desire for a European Union future and away from its Skalkan Corporation organization past. Suffering from inherent instability due to poor governance and corruption, Conditions in Arnland were created that allowed anti-government terrorist groups to operate from safe havens within the country. The province of Kalmar within Arnland had broken away and illegally declared independence, further destabilizing the country and providing the terrorists safe haven. The government of Arnland formally requested the support of NATO to assist with improving security. With the support of the UN Secretary General, the NAC voted to deploy the Arnland Security Assistance Force, or ASAF, to prevent the Arnland crisis worsening and spreading. NRDC Italy, with its capability to reconfigure as a joint task force headquarters, was chosen to deploy to Arnland as ASAF. NRDC Italy, ready and rapidly deployable to any area of crisis around the world, was highly reactive to the orders of NATO headquarters and SACUR to resolve the security crisis in Arnland. The starting point for the deployment was the writing of a plan based on the comprehensive approach to understanding the operational environment. This plan would be one coordinated with the United Nations, European Union, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe, and other relevant international agencies. The knowledge development team worked with a variety of professional bodies to understand not just the military environment, but the political, economic, social, information and infrastructure aspects of the crisis. The main aspects of the mission so far have been the deployment effort and the initial operations to secure and stabilize the situation. ASAF have been fully operationally capable in the region for two weeks and have achieved much since the initial deployment almost four months ago. This has primarily been the disruption of terrorist networks, containing the breakaway province of Kalmar and securing critical infrastructure including nuclear sites. The ASAF operation so far has provided reassurance to Arnland's nervous neighbouring states, preventing their involvement. ASAF have been effectively communicating in the information environment to inform key audiences, countering the propaganda of Kalmar separatists. ASAF continues to shape conditions for a political solution to be found. In addition to the ground forces and considerable logistic support, a powerful maritime component has been conducting operations to maintain shipping routes in the Baltic Sea, ensuring commercial trade can continue despite the crisis. The air component has been gathering intelligence by conducting surveillance over the region and is at high readiness to conduct airstrikes against approved targets in support of the mission. Operations by ASAF Special Forces are a key component of the force, providing intelligence gathering and detention operations against terrorist networks. The current phase of Secure and Stabilize is one where, in addition to security operations, ASAF conducts security force assistance to enhance the Arnland security forces to be a credible and capable national security force as part of the ASAF exit strategy from the theater of operations. The goal of NRDC Italy as ASAF is a safe and secure Arnland. ASAF is committed and on track to succeed. ASAF, NATO assistance to Arnland.